I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. That's right, I'm going hands-free today. Woo! Well, hands-on. <laughs> but uh, we are doing something from Dreamcatcher. It's called Start Over, and it's actually a solo piece, from what I understand, from Sion. And uh, I guess from reading the comments, there is a really popular um, show or drama that the actor or the creator of the show was so impressed with her vocals, he wanted her to redo it. And that's the backstory. So let's check it out. You know, it's kind of interesting. One of the big things that always is a problem for a lot of metalheads, right, is like when you really start to like a group, and then you start seeing one of them release solo material. Usually, that means that like they're testing the waters to see if they leave or if they can leave and do a solo thing themselves, which is kind of the opposite in K-pop because a lot of times I feel like that a lot of them actually can 
do both, and that is not really afforded to most of the time when it comes to metal for metal acts. And I think that's one thing that's really nice because, like, I can see this knowing that she's not just going to leave. <laughs> but um, honestly, I'm really surprised. Not really surprised, but I am. I think one thing that's kind of crazy is that it's kind of known that like Dreamcatcher has a large following and usually it's not <laughs> within Korea but you know I think the sad thing is though is like when you listen to the song I mean she hangs with the best of them all I mean like honestly she has just as good as vocals and as just as good as vocals as anybody if not even most of them <laughs> In a sense, because of their less than popular status with most, I do think that that does mean that I can qualify her as being like an underrated vocalist. And because um, I think she absolutely is just a phenomenal one. And, you know, the funny thing is, a lot of times as we listen to these songs, you know, from Dreamcatcher, she's always got a bit of a standout because the fact is that she's just such a powerful vocalist. And. I think the person that made this drama and made the OST for this definitely saw what we see, and it's awesome. <laughs> I think this song actually does very well fit her vocal style, and I think it actually sounds pretty cool. I actually thought that this is a pretty, pretty cool song. It's kind of interesting because, like, 99% of the time, in the West, like, nobody cares about no, like, drama or comedies, like, theme song. That's not something that we generally ever think about. I mean, the last one that I feel like that you could even really say that was popular here in the West, like, for me, that I know of, would be, like, Big Bang or, like, even How I Met Your Mother. Like, I don't know. That's it's crazy how a lot of the stuff that I have covered on this channel actually does come from OSTs like this. I know this is for a show, but honestly, like, the lyric writing behind it is actually really nice as well. I really, really like the uh, message behind it. Just a really, really solid lyric writing on this as well. I think that that's something to be commended. Um, but in any case, uh, this is kind of the, some of the stuff that I really looked out for. And I think, again, just who else could handle something like this? <laughs> she did phenomenal. And, um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I guess I'm on a bit of a dream catcher kit. Uh, uh, <laughs> a dream catcher, like... Uh, marathon right now because the like album review and then this comes out and so I've been on a, a bit of a kick with the with their music so this just kind of felt naturally right into it with everything else <laughs> uh, anyway let me know what y'all think about this and we'll see you down in the comments down below she's seriously underrated <laughs>